So here we are. I'm sitting here with Finn and I'm Sarah and we're looking at pictures of when we picked up flowers yes. and what else did we pick? We also picked many pine cones and many special types of branches, sumac, mm -hmm. bowls, and stuff like that. And we picked this all up and we put it in our basket for our nature altar. And we're telling people, we're inspiring them that if they can't get outdoors, they can watch us on our walk as a little breath of fresh air. If you could imagine a nice fresh spring day, we took this about two Sundays before Mother's Day and we've prepared this to be ready for tomorrow, which is Mother's Day. But Finn, every day is Mother's Day, right? Yes. And this film will stay and stand online for whenever people crave some inspiration for some nourishing creativity, wherever you are, and often these days that's staying home. Whoever you are watching, you can leave your own intentions as you watch us create our centerpiece, our nature altar indoors. And if you're inclined to make one at home, you can think about placing it like we did in, on a table, or you can place it out of doors where you can leave it to return and get scattered by the wind. You can return to the earth. We also collected up some wood chips that the beaver chipped up. You can tell what big and strong teeth beavers have to cut down whole trees. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. Chewing down trees all day to make one dam. And while you're making or even while you're watching and listening, let your mind go to the places that you gathered all your natural objects from and also the places that you come from, the places that you've gone, the places that you'll go. If you don't have a little creek like we did to, to collect little creek rocks and sumac, you can also, or you know, and you can just go for a walk and get leaves. What else do you think you could collect on a walk outdoors, Finn? Um, you could probably collect burrs, which we did, and many more. You could collect petals. Petals, even if you wish, you could collect some of that beautiful water. Hmm. That's a nice idea. Can you see the heron? Yes. If you don't have a way to go outside, you can also order a nice bouquet from a local florist. They could use the business now, and it's lovely to work with fresh flowers. And now we're home. A beautiful little home. Mm -hmm. And we're laying out, there's some forsythia from our backyard and a daffodil from our front, the front of our house. We're famous for those daffodils. And here we're reading Day Shildrick's book called Morning Altars. And Day Shildrick is the master of, of these um, natural altars. And he inspired us, and he can inspire you if you have a way to look on a website of his called Morning Altars. You can see some of the pictures that we're looking at here in the book. And we're looking here at the seven movements for a morning altars practice. And Finn, can you read number one? Yes, wander and wonder. That's right, and that's what we just did down by the creek. How about number four? 
create. That's right. And that's where you can begin by laying out all of the leaves and all of the objects that you collected in different piles and look at the shapes and the patterns and think about how to bring together all of those different elements into one gorgeous work of art, which is what, as, as Schildrift writes here, the universe is doing all the time. So here we are opening the basket. You can see our cattails that we collected. I think we got a very wide variety of all the stuff we got. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty, <laughs> uh, I don't remember now if we used all of it. I think we might have left a bit out. In the end, actually, we didn't catch this, but we made some sumac tea. Oh yeah. You can peek at our pet here. Can you tell people about our pet? Yes, she has a red lorikeet um, type parrot. She's a very friendly bird, very tame now. Especially because Finn spent most of his quarantine with red on his shoulder. So you and I both thought that the one daffodil would be the perfect centerpiece. Yes, so we cut it up. Dissected it. <laughs> no, we just, <laughs> we, we cut it down so it was as short a stem as you can have and we put it in a teeny weeny little vase. And with our centerpiece there, we let that inspire ring upon ring of patterns around, huh? talked about the different ideas that we had and you had the idea of crumbling up the sumac. Yeah. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. One of the things we saw in the book is sometimes um, he'll crumble up pine cones and use different parts of the pine cones as little, little bits. Yeah. And sometimes you can take apart a flower and you can use just petals. Yeah. And we made a really big nature altar, right? It filled our whole table, but you might make just a little one on a little table. So I'm gonna say some words as a shout out to our patrons who inspired this series, this prescription art series, especially for seniors, senior citizens who are in care in Burlington, where we live. So I've worked in long-term care, and I know that right now, there are people whose hands sit upon a lap, and those hands will not be among the hands that are arranging. So let the others, the caregivers, and others in the room see this as a performance for watching eyes. See the caregiver's hands or the active hands, kind of like surrogate hands that are ceremoniously arranging while putting good intentions for all who is watching and all who, are, who we are remembering you can even light a candle. Sometimes that sets a kind of mood for creative work. And listen here to Arne's entrancing music that he wrote especially for our Nature Altar video. And to Finn's and my soft voices. We are speaking to you, the arrangers, and you who experience alongside within the reverie of elderhood. While you're watching or while you're making, count your blessings, think of stories, allow memories to surface, and contemplate the delicacy and the hardiness of the natural world through the prickly bits 
and the fragile bits and the furry bits. <laughs> Finn, will you read step number six? Share. Can you read the whole thing? Photograph and share your beauty making and in ten in intentions intentions with your friends community or with people you have never met that's right at the end of our video you can pause it because we're going to give you some addresses you can send this to we would so like to see the nature altars that you made and also hear about the ideas and things that you want to tell us about this prescription art video. It's nice how we arranged everything. It's kind of a surprise how it all turns out in the end. Yeah, you're right. And we just got those Puffy cattails around kind of makes me think of a nest or a wreath and those river rocks along the edge. I would say here we're almost finished but sometimes the finishing touches of a creative work like this can take as long as the whole thing up to that point. We could, we could take a long time to do little adjustments and you can enjoy that part of it where you make everything look even and all of the, um, kind of the geometry in the circle be all symmetrical. Yeah. And we got little ideas like adding little tiny blossoms and filling in little tiny spaces yeah. and we thought about the colors we got those red sticks that were matched with the red sumac and the yellow forsythia looked like little tiny daffodils mm -hmm. you know if you walk up to the arboretum now mm -hmm. you can actually see mini daffodils oh yeah very small oh yeah Yes, hmm. they're about the size. In that place along the... the yes. Yeah, they're about half the size of the normal ones. So after you finish your, your, your little adjustments and your finishing touches, there's certainly some time that you get to just look at it. Hmm? Yes, but for us it wasn't the longest. <laughs> Red came along. Mm-hmm. And after she nibbled on some berries, she flubbered, she fluttered her wings and the cattails scattered. Yeah, I'm not even sure if those are cattails. Yeah, they are. Kind of look like the booms. Yeah, that's right. So it's a nice time to settle back and just look at it for, the, for as long as you like. And if you're so lucky to have a little group of people in this time of, of social distancing, talk about it or sit and look at it with delight and satisfied, feel satisfied. 
and take a picture for us, please. And at the end, what's the very last step, Finn? You have to let it go. That's right. Let the wind blow it over if you decide to put it outside, inside. Well, it will eventually have to go. Yep. And all these things would return to the earth anyway. And we like using things that didn't have to come from the art store, that are so natural and everywhere and abundant. And when we picked them, we picked carefully. We didn't pick whole plants, except for our one daffodil. We tried to take just a taste, just a little sample of all of nature's bounty. Red's going after the millet we gave her. Mm -hmm. Eventually, she. No, he's cranky about it. Walks over, tries eating some berries. <laughs> <laughs> Could be bad for her. <laughs> well. Good thing they weren't. <laughs> she just survived. Mm, the birds eat those berries outdoors. Yeah. And here she is marching into her nest. The sad thing is we didn't really get to catch her fluttering into it. Yeah, that was pretty funny. She sent it flying. And our next prescription art series also will be things that you have at hand. We thank so much the Burlington Foundation and the Willow Foundation for inspiring this series and funding it too. You can find these videos and all of our artery offerings at by going to our website at www.artery.ca. We hope you enjoyed. <laughs>